What's going on guys? Chris here with another video, specifically about the Brevity Jumper. Pretty excited on it so far. Let me give you a tour of the bag. One thing I was looking for with a bag, like uh, I've, got, I've got a few bags in rotation right now, but one that I really needed was a simple bag that could carry my cameras, carry a few personal items, and I could be on my way. Like things for maybe a weekend, and you wanna take your camera, but it's no longer about work or anything like that. This is kind of the perfect bag for that. I will say, if you live in a rainy place like I do, Vancouver, then you're gonna miss the weather sealing of this bag. This, this bag is not weatherproof. So as your only bag, it might not be the best choice. Let's get into the bag. So it's got a lot of space for your camera stuff. It's, this is a pretty decent camera cube. I've got my X-H1 with a 16 to 55 on it, a video mic mini, a camera strap dispatch, the 80 millimeter macro from Fuji. Now the one thing I really wish is that it could go in that way, but it's just, it's just a little bit too tall. I don't know if you can see that there. And it's actually, it's quite roomy and quite soft. These aren't, these aren't the best dividers, but they get the job done. They're not overly padded, but they're not flimsy. They're just like the kind of, everything on this bag so far has been the perfect kind of compromise between function and design. Got these two little straps at the bottom for tripods. And one of my favorite parts actually is this, the, the organization is really, really good. They've got these mesh pockets that you can carry kind of anything in there. I got a tie to go, some frisks, apartment keys, etc. cetera. Uh, fits decently, a card holder, notebook, and an extra Narbox battery without really puffing up like crazy. Another awesome thing is the side, side access. You've got your camera right here. And now a lot of people put their cameras in kind of straight like that. I find that gets, I find I don't like doing that because what happens is when you shove the camera in like that, it, all of this stuff compresses on top of it. So what I do instead is I take the camera like this, I put the lens first and then carve out a little spot for the handle. So it's just, it's really easy to put it in like that. And then you're right there. It's really easy to grab and pull out. Moving into the top of the bag, you've got this uh, this pocket right here. And just opens up into like a nice little dump area that you can just put personal items that interchange like a windbreaker or something. You get a bag of coffee on the road, you can throw that in there. I really like this pocket inside. This is where I kind of keep my extra battery charger, a couple batteries for my camera, lightning cable, and of course, my Narbox. And then of course, what kind of person would you be if you didn't carry some sort of laptop or iPad and this bag's got you covered? So in this top part, which actually is weather sealed, as you can see here, I wouldn't trust it because this bag is pretty, pretty soft. Like I feel like if, if you poured a little glass of water down here, it's just gonna go all over the bag. But pretty decent sized laptop. You can fit probably a 15 inch in there. I carry an iPad Pro 11. That's what I do pretty much all my work on. So that fits perfectly right into the back. On the side here, you got this expandable pouch, which I cannot stress enough with these camera bags. Like I need, if I don't have a water bottle on me, I don't drink water. So I need to have a sufficient amount of water. I'm not talking about these little skinny guys, but this is a pretty, Pretty decent sized water bottle, and it fits perfectly in here, no problem. See, it's got these expandable little things here, which are like, every can of bag should have this option. Also great for tripods and stuff like that. You just unclip it, put it back on. And lastly, we have this hidden pocket for cash, kind of little things that comes. Definitely cash, they, they call it a phone, a phone pocket, but if you, if you have the phone on there and then you go to put the bag on, I find it gets really annoying. It basically, it pushes into your back and I, I can't handle that. 
So last point on this baby is the, the straps. These straps are perfect for this bag because you can't carry that much stuff. You can't overpack it. So they've put really comfortable straps on that aren't, aren't flimsy and weak. Like I always found with, with this bag, these, these straps are too thin for the amount that it can carry. Not anymore. These are perfect straps. I love them. The bag also comes in like a bunch of different colors. And I went with the pine green because green, let's be honest, green's having a moment right now. Guys, I'm super stoked on this bag so far. Not many complaints. Would I recommend it for your everyday bag as your only bag? Probably not. But if you are a photographer, then you, you have different bags for different things. And this is kind of days I'm not shooting or days I'm shooting light. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the Brevity Jumper below. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already. Smash that bell notification to be notified of other videos in the future. This is Chris signing off. Thank you. Peace.